गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हेलो बेरो हाय लुइस गुड इवनिंग हाय करन इट्स अ प्लेजर टू सी यू अगेन आई एम हैप्पी टू सी यू अगेन राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट राइट नाउ विद द क्लास Okay. Let me share the presentation for tonight. Good. This is the presentation 19 and today also is 19 October 19 2023, right? So, vocabulary practice. Luis, can you read the the objective for tonight, please? Okay. Tell someone directions of where my workplace and someone else's are located. Good. Location of places, right? Directions. That's what tonight we're going to to practice. Hello, Alejandro. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi. How's everything in San Miguel, right, Alejandro? Alejandro. San Miguel, no. right? No, no, Popa. Ah, Popa. <laughs> no, yeah, because uh, ah. it's very hot. Popa is very hot, yes. No, but San, San Miguel is, ooh, San Miguel is different, right? You know. Okay, welcome. Now, uh, let's just start with practice the place, right? Because we're going to talk about locations. We practiced this last time, but again, listen, a bank, a restaurant, a pharmacy, a school, a bookstore, a taxi stand, a mall, a clothes store, an electronic store, a fire station, a police station, a shoe store, a toy store, a park, a dry cleaners, a gas station, a hotel, a supermarket, a convenience store, a travel agency, a church. Last time we were talking about dry cleaners and laundromat, right? Dry cleaner is that you take your clothes, you take your clothes, and they wash and dry, right? And that's it. But in the laundromat, you put coins, and you, you wash the clothes in the machine, you know? That's the difference between laundromat and dry cleaner. Good. Well, I don't know if you have questions about this vocabulary. Do you have questions about this vocabulary? Okay, let's continue, right? Okay. Preposition of places, right? Last time we were talking about some prepositions and today Today, uh, we're going to continue talking about this uh, preposition of it, right? Now, we have among, in front of, near, and past. Among means en medio de, right? But let me tell you the difference between between and among. Between is, for example, the church is between the city hall and the hotel. The church is between the city hall and the hotel. So in this case, it's two places, right? Two places. The hotel and the city hall, two places. But when you say among, you say the church is among many places or many buildings, which are the pieces, right? 
So among is more than two. Between is only two, right? Between the city hall and the hotel. But among is more places, more than two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera, right? That is the difference between between and among. Both means in Spanish, en medio de. But between is two and among is three and more, right? Okay, among. Now, where is the park located? It is located among many places. Where is the sport palace located? It's located on Barrios Street in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It's located past the school. Pasando la escuela, right? Past the school. Okay? Good. So when you make questions with where, it's because you're talking about location, right? For example, where is the restaurant? Where is the police station? Where is the gas station? Where is the, the grocery store? So we say where or location. Or contraction, where is, where's, right? So then when we answer, we use the preposition it. It, right? It is to replace the names of places. For example, instead of say, where is the restaurant? Uh, you're going to say, it is. Instead of say, the restaurant is, you're going to say, it is next to the grocery store, right? So in this case, the, substitu the substitution for, for the restaurant is it, right? Good. So where is the police station? It is next to the park. Uh, where is the, the mall? It is in front. It is in front of the of the restaurant, for example, right? So it is, it is, right? Again, where is, where's? It is, it's. Those are the contractions, right? Those are the contractions. Okay? Good. Any question? No? Okay. Let's continue. Question. Tell me, tell me. Hola. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Vero. Este, en el... En la captura, bueno, en la hoja anterior, la presentación, mm -hmm. estaba la palabra que es igual que between. Mm -hmm. Este, dijo algo sobre en qué momento se iba a ocupar. Yes. Repeat. I will repeat, Verónica. I will repeat. Explain, explain to me, Again. please. No problem. <laughs> I like that. Pero esa es música para mis oídos. Cuando me, me dicen, explíqueme algo. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I was explaining uh, the, the meaning of between and the meaning of among. Right? Both mean en, uh, en medio de. Right? En medio de. For example, I can say in my cameras, in, in my computer, uh, I see Karen. I see William in my camera, right? In my computer. I see Paola. So, William is between, in my camera, I repeat, right? Between Karen and Paola. Between. So, in this case, mean en medio de dos, right? Okay, but William goes to the forest. And William is among the, the forest or among the trees. Okay? Pero William fue a dar un paseo al bosque. <laughs> Sorry, William. Okay, se fue a dar un paseo en el bosque y él estaba en medio de los árboles. Right? So, is it correct to say, ah, solo había dos árboles entonces? Uno a la derecha y uno a la izquierda. No, no. 
There were many trees, right? So the word between is more than two. Okay. More than two. And between is two, two places. Two places, right? Between is two and among is more than two. More than two, right? Again, in my computer, William is between Karen and Paola. And William is among the trees. Okay? Vero, do you understand now? Yes. Or do, you, do you want more examples? Yes. Yes, yes more examples? Oh. Yes, do you understand? <laughs> yes, understand. <laughs> okay, good. good. Thank you. That was the, the explanation, right? And this is a commercial. Okay. Um, eh, por ahí tengo a Cindy. Sigue por, con problemas de, de audio. Okay. Now let's continue. No more questions, class? No more questions? Okay, let's continue, right? This practice is extreme. It's very, very extreme, right? So we're going to practice this conversation. And we're going to we're going to uh, learn about the the location of, of the places here, right? Okay. But before I will Take the attendance. So say present, please, Alejandra. Cindy? No, Cindy is present. I saw her. Uh, Claudia? Claudia? Diana? Present. Welcome, Diana. Grecia? Miss Lopez Benavides. Okay, Karen. Present. Thank you. Carla. Sir. Present. Welcome, Carla. Eh, Beatriz. Beatriz. Ah, Alejandra is here. Look, I have a message. Eh, Beatriz, teacher, estoy teniendo... Ah, con el internet. Copiado. Beatriz. Ok. Cuando pueda. Part participar, me avisa. Ok. Y veo a Alejandra aquí en pantalla. No sé si le funciona el micrófono o el, o el audio. Alejandra, hello. Que no veo mensajes de Alejandra por acá. No. Pero ahí está en la cámara, ¿verdad? Bueno, vamos a poner la asistencia, Alejandra. Quizás se ha levantado. Bueno. <ríe> ok, sigamos. Eh, Beatriz, ahí está también. Lucía. No pudo conectarse otra vez Lucía por cuestiones de salud. Pero ya me prometió que mañana sí. Verónica. Present teacher. Thank you. Alejandro. Present. Thank you. Luis. Present. Paola. Present teacher. Thank you. William. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Wilson. Present. Thank you, Wilson. Okay, here we are, right? Now let's start with the conversation. Listen, repeat after me, please. Excuse me, where is the bank? Excuse me, where's the bank? The bank? It's on Pine Street.
Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, yesterday we were learning about the prepositions, right? And today also we have other prepositions. We're going to copy some of these, right? And we have among. Here we'll copy. Among, pass, in front of, mm -hmm. in front of, let me see what else. In front of, near, near, and Also between, on, what else? What other proposition? Behind, behind, next to, next to, what else? Next to, in front, across from, across from, that is the same in front of, right? Uh, between, across, uh, down the street. No, but we're not going to use down the street today. No, only next, right? Okay, good. So these are the preposition we're going to use. For example, here, uh, the bank. The bank. It's on Pine Street. Look, now let's go to the bank and say First National. Yes, look, this is the street, right? On Pine Street. Where is the... Where is the, the Jameson Hotel? Jameson Hotel is on Elm Street. Where is the Rosas? Rosa Restaurant is on Maple Avenue. Okay. Now, uh, pass. Where is the park? The park is past the First National Bank, right? Donde queda el parque pasando el banco, right? Uh, where is where is the park? The park is in front of the post office. Where is the where is Joyce Jim? Where is Joyce Gym? It's between the post office and the department store. Where is the public library? The public library is behind the grocery store. Where is the, the First National Bank? It's next to the grocery store. Where is Frank's Cafe? It's next to the hotel. You see? So those are the preposition, right? Okay, with this information, we're going to practice again. Repeat after me. Excuse me. What is the bank? The bank. It's on Pine Street. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now we're going to practice the conversation, right? Let me see. Alejandra, are you ready? Okay, so Diana, so Diana, you're going to be letter A and Karen, you're going to be letter B, right? Good, Diana, you're going to choose a place the public library, the gas station, the post office, the gym, the department store, the grocery store, then the bank, 
the telephone, look, the public telephone, the park, uh, moms and pops grocery store, the drug store, the shoe store, the hotel, Rosa restaurant, Friends Cafe, Jameson Hotel, right? All of these places. So Diana made the question, and Karen is going to say, uh, for example, right? Where is the hotel? The hotel. The hotel is uh, on the corner, me faltó on the corner. On the corner of Maple and Elm Street. You see? Permita, voy a agregar on the corner, que es importante también. On the corner of, right? So what is the, the hotel? The King Plaza Hotel is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue, right? For example. Or if Diana say, where is the where is the post office? Karen can say it's on Main Street. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, right? Okay. Also, if Karen wants, Karen is going to say uh, it's for example, Joe's Gym is on Main Street next to the post office to location right what is the, the the national bank is between the telephone and prince store on pine street nice oh you can also say right uh, where is rosa's restaurant rosa's restaurant is behind france cafe on maple street across from the hotel, huh? Three locations, right? Three locations. It's possible. And then you say, thank you, you're welcome. Good. Diana and Karen, ready? Okay, one, two, three, action. Excuse me, where's the gym, Joe Jeans? It's on Main Street between Post Office and Old Days Department Store. Thank you. You're welcome. Okie dokie, my goodness. A perfect conversation. Excuse me, are you basic or intermediate? Dougley, they are basic in this moment, but they speak very well. <laughs> okay. Let's continue, right? Now, uh, next is going to be Claudia, right? Claudia, can you help me, please? Okay. You're going to be letter A, Claudia. And, uh -huh. and then, uh, Carla, you're going to be letter B. Voy a preguntarle por una localidad de la que está en el... Yes, you say, for example, excuse me, what is the, the grocery store, what is the hotel, what is the restaurant, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? And Carla is going to answer the location. Excuse me, where is the gym, Joe Jeans? Plaza Hotel? The Plaza... The King Plaza Hotel is um Maple Avenue. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. It's on Maple Maple Avenue, or you can say it's on Elm Street, or it's across from the Rosa Restaurant, or it's on the corner of Maple Avenue and Elm Street. Many possibilities, many possibilities, and all the possibilities are good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carla. Thank you, Claudia. Now, uh, we have um, Luis and Veronica, right? Luis, you make the question, Veronica, the answer. Excuse me, where is the park? The park is on Main It's on Second Avenue. It's on the corner of Main Street. Okay. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Very specific, right? Nice. I like it. I like it. Good. Now, next one. Uh, Alejandro, you made the question to Paola. Excuse me. Where the Swiss National Bank? The bank? It's um between Princess Grocery Store and and First Avenue. Oh. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Paul. Don't worry. It's not a problem. Yeah, no, because, because it says está entre el, el, el Prince grocery store y el teléfono, right? The public telephone. Oh, uh -huh, yes. Okay. Uh, that, that's okay. Don't worry. It's, it's good. Now, let's go to uh, William, please. William, you make the question to Wilson. Okay. Excuse me. Where's the Parker's drugstore? Eh, no te escuché, perdóname. Sorry. <clears throat> no problem. Excuse me. Where's the Parker's drugstore? No, no lo entiendo, lo siento. Okay, the good. Parker, Wilson, I will explain. Don't worry. No, no, no. Que lo escucho cortado, no, no sé. Ah, okay, good. Eh, Alejandro, eh, sorry, eh, William. One more time, William. I will, I will tell Wilson. I will translate. Sí. Wilson. No, no, si... no, no, I can hear. No you. sé si usted lo... me escucha bien. Teacher. No, no, yo lo escucho bien. Yo lo escucho bien. No, you say. Okay. Excuse me. Where is? Where is the Parker Drugstore? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Wilson, the Parker's drugstore. I will, I will point. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry. Okay. I will point. Is Parker the Parker's drugstore? Uh, it's on between and between top store and mops mom I pops grocery. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Very good. I like it. Simple, right? Simple and good. Nice. Congratulations. I will say this honestly, right? Voy a decir esto honestamente. Este es uno de los temas más difíciles. El uso de las proposiciones y ubicar un lugar, ¿no? En medio de, a la par de, enfrente de, etcétera, etcétera. And you did very well, right? You did very well. Lo han hecho muy bien. Congratulations. Now, let's continue, right? Oh, but I will, uh, before we, we, we finish this part, I will tell you the possibility for every place, for example. Let's say, for example, where is the public library? The public library is on Main Street, behind the, the Prince's grocery store, next to the gas station. Now, where is the gas station? The gas station is next to the public library, is behind the bank, and is on Main Street or is on the corner of Main and First Avenue. The corner of Main and First Avenue, right? Okay, what is the post office? The post office is across from the gas station in front of the park on Main Street next to George Gym or on the corner of First and Main. Where is Joe's gym? Joe's gym is between post office and O'Day's department store. It's on Main Street. It's across from the park. And that's it, right? Where is O'Day's department store? O'Day's department store is next to Joe's gym, behind Parker's Drug Store, and on it's on Main Street, right? So those are the possibilities for 
the location of, of the places here, right? Very good. Now let's continue. Rewrite uh, each statement. Change the noun to its. This exercise is very easy. For that reason, we're not going to go to the group. We're going to make it together. But I will let you one or two minutes. I'm sorry to make it by your own, right? You can you can do it there in, in a notebook or you can write. You can write the, the, the answer for this. For example, I will help you with number one. Uh, the restaurant, right? The restaurant is across the street. So what are you going to do? Substitution for the restaurant. Instead of say the restaurant, you say eat. It's across the street. Across the street or across from the street, right? Good. Now let's go to the bookstore. Volunteers for the bookstore? Remember, instead of say the restaurant, you say it is. It's around the corner. It's. It's around the corner. There we go. Next one, please. Volunteers. It's on the right. It's on the right. Okie dokie. Okay, next one, volunteers. It's next to the bank. It's next to the bank, correct. Ah, uh, to the bank. Correct, is next to the bank. Next one. Teacher. Yes. I have a good. Tell me. Mm, no podría decir también, it's a school next to the bank. Mm. Mm, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, on the right. I, I will explain this. I will explain this. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. right. For example, uh, if you say the woman, the woman is in the park, right? Substitution for the woman, she is in the park, right? If I say, for example, eh, William, no sé por qué William siempre lo mando al parque, pero he's, he's in the park, right? William is in the park. Substitution, he is in the park. Right? I say Paola and Veronica are in class. Right? Substitution, they are in class, right? So when I say the school, right? The school is, oops, see, excuse me. The school is, you say it is, right? So in other words, substitution for the school it substitution for pa Paola and Veronica they substitution for William he substitution for the woman she so in other words she, he, they and it are pronouns and pronouns are substitution of noun pronouns are 
substitution of noun. Understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, very good. So in this case, lo que estamos haciendo aquí es simplemente sustituir todos los lugares por el, por el pronombre it. Ok. Ok. Any other question, class? Thank you for the question. Eh? Any other question? I have a message here. Present, Alejandra. Ok. Very good, Alejandra. Ya la notamos ahí. Very good. Ah, pero no sé si está, Alejandra, no sé si va a estar de oyente o va a participar. Voy a participar, teacher, hasta ahorita, perdón. Excelentoso. Ah, hey, ya se borró todo, permítame. Sí. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank you very much. Ok, teacher. No, permítame que... Ahí está. Solo eso quería borrar. Good. Let's go to the, eh, the pharmacy. Volunteers, please. It's on the left. It's... Ya la habíamos hecho, creo. It's on the left. Ok. Ah, no, es la new stand. It's on the right. Good. And the last one. Mm -hmm. Volunteers, please. It's, it's between, between the bookstore. Uh -huh. It's between. Ah, ya le ganaron el mandado. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Luis. <laughs> Very good, Veronica. It's between. <laughs> between. The bookstore and the neon stand. New stand. New stand, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Now repeat after me, please. It's across the street. It's around the corner. It's on the right. Is next to the bank. It's on the left. It's between the bookstore and the newsstand. Okay. Now let's continue. Oh, we finished my presentation. <laughs> okay, very good. Now we're going to see another material, right? We're going to see another material, yes. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Deme un segundo, chicos, que... Eh, según yo tenía ahí abierto el... Recurso, pero no. Todavía no lo he abierto. Give me a second. No sé qué pasó. Según ya lo tenía listo. Ahí vamos. Ok. Ahí está, listo. Perdón, perdón. Bueno, disculpar que según yo ya lo tenía listo. Pero aquí, hoy sí vamos. 
Okay, very good. Here, right? The conversation. Good. Listen to the audio, please. Page 87, Exercise 3, Conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Now. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Good. So you see the emergency here on the boy, right? It's a real emergency. Good. But now we're going to listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Page. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Now. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You, you can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Right now, please, again, repeat, please. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restaurant? Sorry, excuse me. Is there a public restroom around here? Restroom around here. A public restroom. Hmm. Repeat, please. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I don't think so. Or 
o no. My son needs a restroom. Now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. There's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. No te puedes perder, no se puede perder, okay? You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, class, with this, we're going to practice. I don't know if you have questions about vocabulary. You know what is a restroom? A restroom is a public bathroom. A restroom is a public bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. And this is, oh, querido, right? Oh, dear. It's an expression we use. Like we say in El ay, mi niño. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. On the corner of Main and First, is it right? And you can miss it, mean no, no se puede perder. It's not fácil to do that, right? Around here means por aquí. Is there a public restroom around here? Hay un baño por aquí, right? Around here. Good. No question? It's time to practice. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, here we have Alejandra. Alejandra, you're the man. And Claudia, you're the woman here, right? In the conversation, right? Ready? Okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we have Alejandra and Claudia. Action. Excuse me, can't you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I don't think I don't think, think so. Think, think so. Think. I think. don't wait, 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 Claudia. I don't think so. I don't think, think so. so. Uh, think, think so. Like sapo, sa, sa, sapo, sa. Think. Uh, think. 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 Think so. Think so. Think so. Con Z. Yeah. Oh no, my oh no, my son needs a restaurant now. It's an emergency. Oh dear hi. Yes, oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on, on Main Street. We're on Main Street. It is. 
on the corner of Main and First Avenue? On the corner of Main and, and First? Yes, it is across from the park. You can miss it. Thank you a lot. Of very good. Thank you for your participation, right? Okay, now let's go to the next presentation for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have Diana versus, no, versus no, Diana and, and Karen, right? Diana, you're the man and, and, and Karen, you're the woman, right? Okay, but let me, let me introduce her. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Cujucuyo, we have tonight Diana and Karen. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is the Republic restroom are here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no. My son needs a restroom now. It's an emerging. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes. It's across from the park. You can visit it. Thanks, Alam. Nice. I like it. I like it. Yes, I like it. Next couple, please, is uh, Beatriz. Beatriz, ¿ya le está funcionando el internet? No, bueno. Okay. Le está fallando. Por... Okay. So, uh, Luis, you and Veronica, right? Luis Jordemén. Sí, me Verón. escucha. Hoy sí le escucho, Beatriz. Yes. Puede participar. ¿Ya escuchó la conversación? Sí, sí, yes, dime. Okay. Sí, sí. So, uh, you're going to be the, the woman in the conversation, and Luis, you're going to be the man in the conversation, right? Okay, so. Okay. Uh, Verónica, in the next, please. Okay, ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a, pu a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restaurant now. It's an emergency. Oh, there. Well, there's a restaurant in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you very much. No, I like the way Beatriz said, oh dear. <laughs> Good pronunciation, Beatriz. Thank you very much. Now, Veronica, please help me. Uh, in the next conversation, right, Veronica is going to be the woman and Alejandro is going to be the man, right? Are you ready? But listen for the last time. Listen, please. Page 87, exercise three, conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom, now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, that's it, right? Now, ready? Okay. Alejandro and Veronica, one, two, three, action. Excuse me, can you tell me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, 
I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh dear, where the a restaurant in the department store on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's at the corner on Main and Free Avenue. On the corner of Main and Fifth. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okie dokie, thank you. I like it, I like it, right? Okay, now, uh, Paola, you're going to be the woman in the next conversation. And William, you're going to be the man, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you very much. Paola, can you help me with Wilson, please? Because uh, Wilson is the last in the list, I'm sorry. And then okay. uh, no other girl, right? So again, you're the woman and Wilson, the man, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. No, it's an, an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and Third? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to you. Paola and Wilson, you did it very well. Congratulations. That's it, right? Now, uh, in summary, right? In resume. So you, 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 you see here the location of a place, right? And you mention street, you say on Main Street. You don't say in or at, you say on Main Street, right? Sorry. And, uh, say on the corner of main and first the corner right across from the park notice that these are three locations number one on main street number two on the corner of main and first avenue and number three across from the park in the in the woman says you can miss it como va a perder con la dirección right yes good you can miss it in San Salvador, right? Se puede perder en el centro de San Salvador, pero... <laughs> but here, no, no, no problem. Okay, now let's continue. So let's practice pronunciation. Listen, please. Page Com 87, compound nouns, compound exercise nouns. four, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A, listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, bookstore, supermarket, department store. Okay. Now notice that there are two nouns, right? For example, post office. Post office. You don't say post office. No, no. Pause of it. The word here eh, is stress. What do you mean stress? No quiere decir que tiene problemas, no. <laughs> stress quiere decir que ahí va la mayor fuerza de voz. You know? Gas station. 
And then here we have a word, but it's, in this case, it's together, right? It's not separated. Rest, que quiere decir descansar, and room. We said rest, room. Coffee shop. Drug store. Tienda donde se venden drogas, you know, farmacia. Book store. Supermarket. Department store, right? Okay, now, let me choose a, a student here. Uh, William, can you repeat all the, the compound nouns, please, for the class? Ladies and gentlemen, listen to William. Okay. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Bookstore. Supermarket. Department store. Okay. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Paola, please. You. Help me, Paola. Okay. Post office. Yes. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drug store. Book store. Supermarket. Department store. Excellent. Also, thank you very much. Wilson, please. To finish with Wilson. Post office, gas station, red room, coffee shop, drug store, book store, supermarket, department store. Okay, thank you very much. Department stores, right? Okay. Now, let's continue with the next part. Here, right? We have the description, the exact description of the location of places, right? And uh the preposition right listen please page 88 exercise 5 grammar focus prepositions of place on on the corner of across from next to between the department store is on main street it's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Good. Now repeat after me, please. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to, between, the department store is on Main Street. The department store, ah, wait a minute, it's not the department store, it says it's, it's a substitution for the department store, right? The department store is, so again, repeat. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay, any question, class? Good. Now, again, we have the same map. Well, it's a similar map. I have to reduce it, right? And we are going to make an exercise. But I will bother you, right? Lo voy a molestar. Eh, tengo que hacer el mapa así, grande. Bueno, chiquito, más bien dicho. <laughs> okay. Um, Porque no hay otra forma de ir respondiendo las, las preguntas, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, let me see. 
Good. Eh, quiero ver si se ven todas las partes aquí. Sí, se ve, ¿verdad? A ver. Permítame un segundito. Sí, creo que hasta ahí llega. Second Avenue Bookstore, dice nada más, ¿verdad? Creo que es la única que... Si va a tener que hacerlo más pequeñito, lo siento. Ahí creo que es. Lo siento los que tienen teléfono, ¿verdad? Porque el teléfono cuesta un poquito más. Ok, good. So here's the map. Look, we have the favorite shoes, the P&J supermarket. Uh, we have the Davis uh, drugstore. We have the Regency Movie Theater, the park, the parking lot, Luft's department store, the city bank, uh, Joe's restaurant. Uh, we have the, the, gas, the gas station, the hospital, the post office, and the bookstore, right? So according to this, we are going to copy the correct preposition, right? Next to, on, on the corner of, across from, et cetera, et cetera, right? Good. Now, please, screenshot. We are going to work in group, right? Again, I say I'm sorry because that's, that's the only way we can uh, look at the map, right? Uh, o si quieren, hagamos una cosa. Eh, les voy a agrandar el, el mapa nuevamente y le hacen otro screenshot solo al mapa, por si no se alcanza a ver bien, ¿ok? Ok. Creo que por ahí. Vale, muy bien, ahí está solo el mapa, por si sí. no se me ubican bien. Ahí está más agrandado, ¿ok? Good. So, again, what you're going to do is to answer the question. We have five questions, and you're going to copy the correct preposition. The prepositions are, I repeat, on, on the corner of, across from, Next to and between, right? Those are the prepositions you're going to use. If you want to make screenshot of that, do it. No problem. Too. Okay, good. Now let's do it. Let's go to the groups. Solo aclaro eh, quienes están de oyentes, right? Uh, Cindy only Cindy right the rest is you are active okay ready here we go group number one uh, Claudia Diana and Alejandro and Cindy que está de oyente okay. very good Grecia ah Grecia hello Grecia me copia Grecia Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. No la había visto por ahí. Hoy sí, <ríe> ya está activa, ¿verdad? Ok. Grecia, Verónica, Paola, and William, right? Good. And group number three, Alejandra, Karen, Luis, and Wilson. Ok. Very good. Ready? Déjenme anotarlos porque a veces nos perdemos quién es el grupo 1, quién es el grupo 2. <ríe> ok, group number 1. Vamos a poner de capitán. Uh, permite, vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos a pasar a, a Mayra, el grupo 1. Uh, Mayra Verónica, yes. Sí, ok, entonces sería Claudia, Dayana, Verónica en Marvin. Entonces vamos a poner de capitana a Verónica. 
Verónica, en el grupo uno, ¿ok? Club number two, eh, vamos a poner a William de, de capitán. En group number three, pongamos a Karen, de capitán ahí, ¿ok? <laughs> ok, ready? Here we go. Teacher, no me está haciendo efecto el café, así que. Graciosa. Hace falta la semita, Daniel. Otra... Una coca, una o... coca. O... Otra, otra taza, o acuérdese de los impuestos del Ministerio de Hacienda y se le va a ir el sueño rápido. De la facturación nueva, qué terrible, ya no. Empecemos, pues, chicos. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. Es decir, que vamos a buscar cuál es el. ¿Dónde está el coffee shop? ¿Dónde está el coffee shop y cuál es el que. Teacher, esto no está en el manual, ¿verdad? No, no. No. Es extra no, material. No, ya. Yeah, okay. The manual is very simple. Yeah. Puedes poner el mapa, por favor. Yes, yes. Ok, segunda avenida ahí. Coffee shop. No veo el coffee shop. Entonces, no hay coffee shop. ¿Cómo no? Sí, 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 aquí sí. Por la zapatería de Favorite Shoe. Yo cabal tengo ahí ah, este, la, la, la pantalla en dos mira. <risa> ok, entonces está... Entonces ahí, ¿cómo pondríamos en el segundo espacio? Si no ando muy perdido. Podríamos poner... Está en la calle, en la segunda avenida. Next to serían, porque está a la par. Next to. Sí. O puede ser pas, ¿verdad? Pasando la segunda avenida. También, ¿verdad? Ah, Pasando pa. la segunda avenida. Lo ponemos sí. así. Y, y tiene que. Pero ahí dice The Shops. Ajá. Sí. Second sí. Avenida. Ah, no, ya dice The Coffee Shop in on Second Avenida. Ajá. A la par entonces de Shoe Store. Uh -huh. Next sí, to. Le dejamos. Next to. Next to, okay. sí. next to. Está bien. Ok, chicos, voy al grupo 2. Los dejo un ratito. Ok. <risa> Lo malo que nos quitó. Sería cross. A tres. A cross from. Sí, porque está pasándose la calle. Uh -huh. Across from the parking lot. 
Sí. Knees across. La siguiente es it's un centro. First. La, la que sigue es de creo que first a center on yo creo que on podría ser it's on first and center está sobre la primera y el centro mm. On. Digo yo. It's on first and center. La cuarta. The past office. Sería solo se me viene on, on también, vea. Ajá. El post office es uh, on center and center. Ah, uh, sí, cierto. Y donde es... En centro. Primera es el centro, ah. de la primera avenida y el center. Entre, ¿verdad? Between, ahí sí puede ser between, no. Porque si se fijan, la first avenue pasa sobre la... Sobre la parte del hospital y parte de la estación y la Center Street también pasa sobre la otra esquina. Uh -huh. O sea, como una especie de crucita ahí. Uh -huh. No es enfrente, between entre. Uh -huh. Entre, ¿verdad? Sí. Between. Uh -huh. Between. It's between... First and center, dice. First and center. Post office is. La cuatro dice post office is center and second. Dice center street and center. second. The post center. office. ¿Dónde está post office? Ah, ya, ya la vi. Está la banderita. <laughs> post office sería. The post office está en la esquina. El centro y la segunda. Ah, on the corner uh -huh. of. Uh -huh. Sí, corner. on the corner of. On the corner of. También la de gas station puede ser corner of. Así, ah, si sí, estamos así. Sí. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Quiero ver gas station. Puede ser de esas dos maneras, teacher. Uh, well, in this context, no. Because, uh, when, for example, number four, you mentioned two streets, center and second. So it is necessary you, you say, for example, on, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. So one, two, three, four, five possibilities. Five possibilities only. When you mention two places, it's necessary you use specifically one of these three one of these uh, options right 
The Sorry. department store, this is on. Only one option. Sorry. Only one. Next. On the corner of. Puede ser. Revisemos esa, esa, esa diapositiva. A ver si, si nos ayuda a refrescar mejor el uso de, porque sí. No, sí, sería corner of. By preposition of place, dice aquí. Si está entre First Avenue and Main Street, dice on. On Main Street. On the corner of Main and First. Across from the park, dice. ¿Cómo está? Esquina del parque. Esquina. Next. So. Ah, miren, en la de en la de el parque, la que está el parque, le podíamos poner también across from the park. Pero nosotros le pusimos in front of the park, enfrente del parque. No, no, sí. Pero si solo ahí... tenemos esas cinco opciones, sería across from. Across from. Ajá. Entonces sí, ¿verdad? Que sería. Across from. Across from. Uh -huh. Across from le dejamos entonces, ¿verdad? A uh, uh, parking lot. <laughs> the, gas, the gas station. Uh -huh. The gas station. Start. Se puede usar opposite, teacher? The number three. You can station. use opposite, yes. We, yes. But across from is exactly the same. Across from, in front of, and opposite. The three are opposite. correct. The three are correct. Yes. Okay. Mm. ¿Cuál usamos but entonces? My recommendation is to, to be clear with all the group across from. Across from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Across from Okay. De ahí la segunda parte dice it's y termina con fields and center. Ahí sería ahí on the corner of Sería otra vez ese is on the corner of. Que sería en la esquina de la primera avenida y la calle. Y la, y la central, ¿verdad? Ah. Ok. Ok. <risa> Vaya, la cuatro entonces. Post office. ¿Dónde está? La cuatro post office. Ah, no. Ya lo vi. ¿A dónde está? Está a la par de, del hospital. Mm. Ay, a mí me salió oscura la toma. Ahí está. A la par del hospital. Entonces sería next. Next. Next to. Junto. Yo primero, primero que pregunto. Yo le puse otra vez en el corner ¿no? Porque pregunta de la, la de post office y la calle central y la, y la segunda avenida. Ajá. ¿Dónde come? No la entendí. Es, el, es que como ah, dice, de post office es East y concluye diciendo que está entre la calle central y la segunda avenida. Ajá. Entonces tenemos que, ajá, él dice que en la, en la esquina de la calle central y la segunda avenida, o sea que sería otra vez en is on the corner of center and second. Yes. Yes. Esa okay. es en la cuatro, ¿cierto? En la, en la segunda. Sí, en, en la, la cuatro. Paso. En la primera parte. En la primera parte. Is on the corner of. Y en la segunda podría ser a la par, next to, porque está a la par del hospital. Sí, next to. Fíjense que casi no les entiendo porque les oigo bien cortado. 
por si acaso le vuelvo a preguntar es porque casi no, no les Ok. entiendo. El... Bueno, bueno. Vamos con las cinco. The Ok. band is y termina the restaurant in the department store. El banco está. ¿Cómo? Between. El banco está en el banco Between. está en el restaurante y la tienda de el departamento Está bien. de sport. Between. No les entiendo, fíjense. Dayana, Dayana, hola, hola. Ay, sí, ay, sí. Sí, sería between en la número cinco. Ok. En la cuatro, ¿cómo quedaría la segunda parte? Next, next to. Uh, y la primera era It's on the corner, dijo. It's on the corner of. It's on the corner of. Ah, no. Y ahí sí podríamos usar este oh. pas pasando la, la main street. O oh, solo poner on, no está bien. Ajá, solo poner Ok. on también. Bueno. Uh, yes, because in this case, uh, you always continue in the, in, the, in the main street, right? On the main street. Es decir, no es después de pasar toda la calle. Ok. Ok. Pass it could be, for example, it could be pass the department store. Pasando el department store, ahí está el, el, el bank. ¿eh? Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Pero Okay. con la, la calle no, mire, la calle sigue. Sí. No la pasamos, entonces sí, ahí sería on. Simple, Oh, right? okay. Finish, pero. Ay. Okay, ready? Veronica's group, group number one, please. Sentence number one. The coffee shop. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. Next right? to. Next to. Next to the shoe store, right? Okay, it's next to the shoe store. Yes, it's totally right. Group number two, please. Uh, Williams group. The movie theater is off the corner. Is on the corner of. Let me see, que está muy chiquito el espacio. Si no puedo de otra forma. Voy a tener que dejarlo montado, pero creo que ustedes lo entienden, ¿verdad? Yes. Vamos a ver. Uf. Bueno. Pero se entiende, creo. On the corner of Park Street and Main Street, right? Mm -hmm. It's... Williams Group. It's... It's across from the park. Across from the park. Otra vez voy a tener que dejarlo montado. Pero 
Creo que lo entiendo, ¿verdad? Across from the park. It's across from the park. Good. The movie theater is on the corner of park and main. It's across from the park. It's across from the park. Good. Room number three, please. Karen's group. The gas station is? The gas station is across from the parking lot. Across from. Mm -hmm. It's a corner of First Avenue and Center Street. It's on the corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the corner. It's on the corner of First and Center. Se ve un poco rarito ahí, pero, ni, pero creo que lo entiende, ¿verdad? The gas station is across from the parking lot and it's on the corner of First and Center, right? Okay. Group number one again, please. The post office is. Okay. Yeah, it is on the corner of. On the corner. Of. The corner. Of. Next to not. It's next to the hospital, right? Yeah. Next to the hospital okay thank you very much totally correct the post office next to the hospital good number five please group number two the bank yeah. is big is mm -hmm. is between between the restaurant and the department mm -hmm. store correct it's on Main Street. It's on Main Street. Correct. Let me see. Then we have another one. Hay una más ahí? No, right? Good. Van a disculpar lo anti, anti estético ahí, pero vamos a, a tratar de practicar. Okay. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's next to the shoe store. The movie theater is on the corner of Park and Main. The movie theater, sorry, the movie theater is on the corner of, of Park and Main. It's across from the park. The gas station is across from the parking lot. It's on the corner of first and center. The post office is on the corner of center, sorry, on the corner of center and second. The post office is on the corner of center and second. It's next to the hospital. The bank is between the restaurant and the department store. It's on Main Street. Okay, class, any question? Good, let's continue, so. Good. Now we're going to practice a listening.
Okay, it says, look at the map in exercise five. So what is the map? This map, right? And listen to four conversation. Where are the people going? Listen. Page 89, exercise six. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to Chair. conversations. Where are the people going? Yes. No se escucha el audio. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's Restaurant and Luff's Department Store. Two. Is it near Maria's Restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J Supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. 3. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Okay. The four places again. Now, listen. Page 89. People going. One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's Restaurant and Luff's Department Store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J Supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. 3. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. One more time, the last time. Main Street. Is it near the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's Restaurant and Luff's Department Store. Okay, class, what is the place we're looking for? Volunteers, what is the place? No? Okay, let's continue the, with the second one, right? Later we'll come back. Number two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J Supermarket? Yes, 
It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Uh huh. What is number Where? two? Second yes, Avenue. Yes, restaurant. Sorry? <laughs> number two? Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. Mm. No lo sé, Rick. Okay, we're going to go to three and four, and then later we come back with, with one and two. Okay? Please. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Okay. Four. So what is number three? Maria Restaurant. Maria Restaurant. Correct. Number three is Maria Restaurant. Cling. Okay, let's go to number four. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. So what is number four? Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Cling. Favorite shoes. Okay, so number three is Maria's Restaurant. And number four is favorite shoes, right? Yes? Okay, now let's come back and go to number one and two, right? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's Restaurant and Luff's Department Store. Two. Okay, you got it? What is it, number one? Yeah. Citibank. Citibank. The Citibank. Cling. Correct, right? Citibank. Now we miss only number two. Two. Is it near Maria's Restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P and J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Okay, what is it? Davis Drugstore? Davis Drugstore. Davis Drugstore. My goodness. Totally right, right? Davis Drugstore. That's it. Now we're going to review step by step. Step by step. On Main Street. Is Please. One. One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. It's on Main Street, right? Aha, uh -huh, Main Street. On Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Is near to the Regency Movie Theater? Yes. Yes, it's near, right? On Main Street, near, cerca de, right? Regency Movie Theater. It is. It's right across from the movie theater. It's right across from the movie theater. Cruzando el movie theater, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. There is a restaurant. Right. It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. Maria's restaurant and Luff's department So, the city back. Near the Regency uh, movie theater or across from the movie theater, next to Maria's restaurant, between Love, the department store, and Maria's restaurant, and it's on Main Street, right? Obviously, it's the bank. Number two. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. Is it near to Maria's restaurant? Sí, que es cerca del restaurante, yes. It's on 2nd Avenue. 2nd Avenue. It's on 2nd Avenue. When you say 2nd Avenue, it could be the bookstore, the Davis Drugstore, PJ Supermarket, Favorite Shoes, 
and Al's coffee shop, right? Those are the possibilities on Second Avenue, but what else? Next to the supermarket. Ah, next to the supermarket. A la par, right? Next to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. P and J supermarket? P and J supermarket? Yes, it's on Second Avenue. It's on Second Avenue between between Main and Center. Between the Main Street and the Center Street, right? Entre las calles del centro y la calle principal, Main Street and Center. So, what is the answer? Of course, pay this drugstore, right? Yes. Let's continue. Okay. Thank you very much. Now you're welcome. You're welcome. Number three. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. It's near to the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? It's on Park Street? La calle del parque? No, it's no, no. on Main Street. No, 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 no. It's on Main Street. Queda en la calle principal. On Main Street. That on Main Street. Next to the bank. Next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? It's on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. It's across from the supermarket. Okay, that's it, right? So, obviously, is. Maria's restaurant, right? Number four. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It is near the bookstore? No, no. Bookstore, no. It's on 2nd Avenue. A 2nd Avenue, okay. 2nd Avenue, right? Across from the movie theater. Across from the movie theater. 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. What else? On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? On the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. And finally, it's next to Al's, Al's coffee shop, right? What is Al's coffee shop? Here's Al's coffee shop. So what is it? Favorite shoes, right? Okay, class. Uh, so some people say no preposition location is boring poquito aburrido right but it's absolutely necessary to describe this right now we're going to go to another topic okay let's look at some places some places in New York. Listen. Page 89, exercise 7, snapshot. Top tourist attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building. Grand Central Terminal. Central Park. Times Square, Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty. Good. Repeat us for me, please. The Empire State Building, Grand Central Terminal, Central Park. Times Square, Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty, okay, uh, I will ask you for a movie, right, movies, uh, do you remember King Kong? King Kong? In the Empire State Building, right? The movie was filmed there, right? Well, no exactamente ahí, pero el... 
era la, la, la copia. You know, Empire State Building, el edificio del, del imperio del Estado, you know, Empire State Building. Grand Central Terminal. ¿Se acuerdan de los intocables, right? Y una escena donde va un cochecito así. Y pa, pa, pa. Con Al Capone. Los intocables. Nice movie, right? Central Park. Home Alone. Mi pobre angelito, right? He was there in the Central Park. Also, eh, many movies. Also, Friends. La película de Friends aparece también ahí. I mean, la serie. The Times Square. Me recuerdo de la película de Forrest Gump. Cuando están celebrando el año nuevo, right? Forrest Gump. And of course, the Statue of Liberty. ¿Cuántas películas nos han hecho? Yes. Nice place. Rockefeller Center, I don't know, but the rest. So these are some places in New York. Now listen to some, a conversation about these places. Listen, please. Page 89, exercise 8, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay. Now, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral, right? La Catedral de San Patricio, right, in New York, is very famous too. So it's, how do I get to the St. Patrick's Cathedral? And listen, just walk. Walk. Walk up. Camine hacia arriba, right? Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Good. So listen, the difference between locations and directions. In this case, location is next to, uh, between, on, etc. But when you give directions, you say, how do I get? Como llego? No donde está, sino que como hago para llegar ahí. Just walk, take a taxi. Take the bus, take the train, take a, the, a tuk-tuk, you know, tome un mototaxi, <laughs> tome un burrito, whatever you say, and walk, drive, etc., etc., right? Then he says, is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's across from the Rockefeller Center, right? So this is the way you give directions. Now listen again and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Page 18. Listen and practice. Repeat. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, so St. Patrick's Cathedral, you have to walk Fifth Avenue, desde la Quinta Avenida, right? Hasta la calle número 50, 50th, 50th Street, right? Tiene que caminar mucho el chinito ahí, ¿ok? Good. Now, and what about the Empire State Building? Oh, it's just behind you. Está atrás de usted, que no la ve, right? Ok. Just turn around and look up, right? So this is the way you give directions. Now, 
You will have a map and how to give directions. Listen. Page 90, exercise 9, grammar focus. Directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Okay, again, right? ¿Cómo llego? ¿Cómo hago para llegar al Rockefeller Center? Right? ¿Cómo hago para llegar al Bryant Park? Right? Y aquí tenemos el mapa, miren. Aquí tenemos el Empire State Building. Aquí está el Parque Bryant, Bryant Park. New York Public Library, la librería pública de Nueva York. Está el Rockefeller Center. La Catedral de San Patricio, right? Grand Central Terminal, la que está también la terminal, right? Y el Empire State Building. Y por aquí creo que ahí está la pupusería de la niña Julia. Ah, no, no, sorry, no, no, no es aquí. Me equivoqué, es en mexicano. <laughs> okay, good, this is New York. Good, you see? So you say, walk up. Solo camine o vaya, se para allá. cruce a la derecha, cruce, la derecha, llegue a la esquina y cruce a la izquierda, etcétera, etcétera. So these are directions, right? Okay, class, that's it. That, 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 that's all, folks. Eso es todo, amiguitos. We are going to review the, the platform, right? Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de la plataforma y terminamos la clase, right? Eh, ¿Alguien quiere quedarse? Ya sería hoy la última sesión. De 10 minutos, bueno, de, creo que van a ser de 5, porque. Um, volunteers, voluntarios. Volunteers. Nobody, ok. Bien, entonces en el listado sigue Karen. Karen, ¿quiere quedarse unos 5 minutitos extra? Okay, teacher. No problem. Thank you very much. Ok, eh, antes de terminar, eh, irnos a, a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y, y terminar la clase. Eh, quiero recordarles que el día de mañana nadie puede faltar, por favorcito, porque mañana vamos a hacer la encuesta, ¿sí? Así que si ustedes tienen compromiso en la oficina o, o pidan permiso, y no, jefe, hoy tengo que estar en mi clase. Así que, sorry. Me vale el trabajo. Ah, no, 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 tampoco, no, no. No, la cosa es que sí, sí vamos a, a, a llenar esta encuesta y pues es, es absolut, absolutamente necesario que lo hagamos. No sé si ya recibieron el correo de la encuesta. No, todavía no. Entonces, pero cuando lo reciban, me imagino que mañana no vayan a contestar la encuesta. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. ¿okay? No es que no puedan, ¿no? yo sé que ustedes pueden, pero, pero es el proceso que lo hagamos todo juntos, ¿verdad? Eh, les recuerdo que ahora vamos a revisar la plataforma y que hasta el momento tienen que haber terminado eh, la unidad 1, 2, 3 y 4 ya, ¿verdad? las cuatro unidades. Eh, hasta el momento solo Alejandra está libre de culpa. Ya ella hace ratos terminó la plataforma, así que verdad este ya la felicito ok y los demás pues la mayoría casi me tienen todo vamos a ver las, las notas sí también eh, Cindy avanzó ya bastante eh, Karen ya solo le falta el examen a Karen eh, Lucía a pesar de estar un poco mal de salud pero ya casi termina todo Nuria y William Ahí está la, la, la mayoría que ha avanzado ya casi todo. No he revisado ahora, este día no revisé, pero sí avanzaron, pues. Pues qué bien. Ok, la unidad 4 y el examen final es lo que vamos a ver ahorita. Así, súper, duper rápido. Ok, task number one. 16, I mean. Aquí, como siempre, solo es de ir rellenando con una de estas opciones. In o on. In the party o on the party, right? Recuérdense que in es lugar cerrado y on es superficie. Ah, también es con lugar específico, right? 
the top of the page. Ah, es un lugar específico de la página. Entonces, ¿cuál es la que vamos a usar? Preposición. Esta parte creo que está un poco fácil. ¿Verdad? A menos que ustedes quieran repasar el, el PowerPoint y la clase grabada, pues pueden hacerlo para contestar. Ok. Aquí nuevamente vamos a contestar con there is, there are. There are es para plural y there is es para singular. Ok. Good. Estamos en la unidad número cuatro. Good. Y luego hablamos de lugares, de ubicaciones. In, on, and at. In, on, and at. In, el lugar cerrado, on, superficie, y at, el lugar específico, right? Bueno, espero que lo, han, lo hayan hecho la mayoría. Luego, la, la tarea número cuatro, eh, hablamos de adjetivos. El adjetivo grande, huge, es pos positivo o negativo, o es neutral. ¿Qué creen ustedes? Illuminated, algo iluminado, es algo positivo, negativo o neutral. Smelly, apestoso, you, you smell, right? Positivo, negativo o neutral. Cómodo, comfortable, disgusting, disgusting, right? Ok, solo de poner si es afirmativo, negativo o neutral. Y por último, la tarea 20, que sería la última ya. Pues, igual, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, son adjetivos. Mi oficina es grande y limpia, polvosa o apestosa. Si yo amo mi oficina, va a ser limpia, polvosa o apestosa. Ok. How many people? Oh, there is people, there are many people, or oh, lots of people in the hospital. ¿Cuál es la opción correcta? Y aquí a mí no me gustan las fiestas en su apartamento. ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo es el apartamento? ¿Es bonito? ¿Por eso no me gusta? ¿Es cómodo? ¿O es estrecho? Es estrecho, ¿ok? ¿Cuál es la opción correcta? I need bananas and some oranges. Much, para cosas no contables, there are o some, algunas. Y en la quinta, el nuevo edificio está brillante. ¿Es por qué? Está iluminado, oscuro o frío. No, oh, creo que está fácil. ¿Verdad? Muy bien. Any question? Questions? Muy bien. Ahora vamos al examen final. Eh, se supone que era para mañana, pero por favorcito, miren al teacher. Please, termínenlo ahora, ¿verdad? Así yo voy y reviso sus notas y ya los dejo en el cuadro ya listos para mañana, solo para graduarse. ¡Tarán! Todos con 10. A excepción de un muchacho ahí, apellido Jacobo Vázquez, no sé cómo se llama. Ah, el 11 le van a poner, creo. Sí. <risa> no, le vamos a poner un 6 porque no, nunca trajo semita. <risa> Ey, lo siento. <risa> son bromas, son bromas. El, a los del ha con 10. Ah, no, ya la regó. <risa> ok, examen final. Son cuatro secciones. Básicamente es repetición de algunas tareas que, que van en los exámenes. Y el primero es, miren, las preposiciones de tiempo y las actividades realizadas por algunos sujetos. I go to work I, o I goes to work o I am to work. I usually drive, driving o drive. Ok, the question words. Vive contigo. ¿Quién vive contigo? ¿Qué vive contigo? ¿O dónde vive contigo? My brother. Entonces, ¿cuál es my brother? Who, what, or where? Play the guitar. ¿Qué es tocar la guitarra? ¿Es un lugar? ¿Es, es, es un algo? ¿O es un por qué? Ok. Creo que esta es la parte más difícil, ¿verdad? Porque es de ir ordenando. Solo recuérdense que en las cinco, esta parte, tienen que comenzar con mayúscula y terminar con el símbolo de interrogación. 
Yes. Si hay alguna pregunta, detengan. Yes. Good. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Son las 8.45. Son las 8.45. En punto. En punto. No sé, ahí ustedes deciden. It's at 8.45. No lo sé, Rick. Ustedes deciden, ¿verdad? De tiempo. Ok. I had a party in my birthday, on my birthday, or at my birthday. Me gradué en la universidad in, on, or at 2001. Ok. Now, answer the following question. They love animals. ¿Quiénes aman a los animales? Los políticos, los veterinarios o los astrónomos. Bueno, que los políticos aman a todo el mundo. <laughs> aman a todo el mundo. Ok. Yes. Very good. Ahí estamos. La tarea 3. Igual, ¿verdad? De tiempo. ¿Qué, ¿A qué hora es la clase? Etcétera, etcétera. Ahí está. ¿Ok? Esto está fácil. Bueno, no, yo no debo decirlo, ¿verdad? Pero soy el profesor, pero a ustedes me van a decir si les cuesta o no. Y nuevamente se repiten los, los adjetivos. ¿Cuáles son eh, neutrales? ¿Cuáles son positivos? ¿Cuáles son afirmativos? ¿Ok? Esa sería la tarea número cuatro. Y ahí está, ese es el examen final. ¿Creen ustedes que pueden terminarlo esta noche? ¿El solo termina la clase? No les va a tomar más de cinco, exagerando, diez minutos. Está fácil, ¿verdad? Y ya voy a tener su nota 100 y ya lo pongo en el cuadro y ya. Solo nos quedamos con la encuesta de mañana, ¿les parece? Thank you very much. Si no, mañana no les traigo semita. El que no ha hecho el examen no va a tener semita. <risa> Ok, claro. Thank you very much. No voy a pasar lista por el tiempo, pero ya sé todos los que estuvieron presentes, así que no se preocupe. Right? Me quedo con Karen. Eh, sorry, con Karen. Excuse me. Y los demás a mi mir. <laughs> Have a good night. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless good you. Good night. Good night. Okay, Karen, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Nos quedamos con Cindy. Oh, yes. No, Cindy is uh, just listening, yes. Cindy uh, yeah, has some problem with the microphone and with the with the sound, right? But she's always uh, present. It's nice. Uh -huh. Okay, Karen. <laughs> Karen, I don't know if you want to review any specific topic. One part that is difficult uh -huh. for you. Pues con prepositions, the time, simple present, eh, lo the, que... the, the prepositions of time or place, time or place, eh, more time than, than places. Okay, time, the preposition of time, right? In, on, and at. And this was, give me a second, I will give you the presentation here, right? The PowerPoint presentation. Okay, let's go to Ingres Corporativo. Okay, let me see. Preposition of time, of place and time here. Is, it was the presentation 14. Okay, let me show you. Okay, Karen, here we have, right? On, in, and at, right? So this is a question of memory, Karen. For example, the days of the week, on. The dates, fechas, on. The, the month of the year, January, February, March, April, June, July, so in. In, right? Okay, and the years, all the years, in. In, 
right? Eh, the seasons, la, las estaciones. Bueno, aquí solo tenemos dos, ¿verdad? Summer and winter. In. Mm -hmm. Y las partes del in. día, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, right? In. Cuando hablamos de lugares, de lugares, no, de tiempo específico, sorry. At, siempre que usted diga la hora, at 2.30, at 3 o'clock, at, 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 at. Y cuando se refiere a ciertas partes del día, como noon, mediodía. Night y midnight, siempre vamos a usar at, at, ¿ok? Very good. Here we have examples. In the morning, in the... In the afternoon, in the afternoon. Uh, mm. In the, in the, in the, in the quiz. Ajá. Uh -huh. When I, when I is, uh, Answer. Answer, answer the, the question. Uh, when when is your your birthday algo así parece que era ah, la pregunta verde. Yes. Uh -huh. y entonces es, es aquí. Y, aquí está y entonces mi decía in on at y la primera vez que lo resolví me quedé ah entonces ajá on oh. Father's Day y en la otra cuando decía en qué año terminaste la universidad in y entonces era in, y entonces tenía esa duda, va. No, no, Pero ya va, me va. quedó claro así con lo que me dice usted, que cuando sea, va, por ejemplo, fechas o celebraciones, se podría decir, es mm -hmm. on. On. On, sí, correcto. Y cuando refiere a año, siempre in. ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Años, in. In. Meses, in. Días de semana, on. Días de semana, on. Ah, on. ya. ¿Quién? Puede hacerle una captura de si pantalla. Si me permite un segundo que me tocan aquí la puerta y todo esto, dele, no me dejo a dormir. Permita, bueno, bueno, permita. Dele, dele, dele. ¿Quién es? Bueno. Ah, bye. Sí, es que estoy en clase y, ah, y he dejado ahí un pardo. Bye. Sí. Gracias. Buenas noches. Excusi, excusi. No problem. That's problem. Es que... you, you received the semita. Nice. Let's do it. Eat it. <laughs> sí, no, que un fardo de agua, dice. Ah, ok. Y yo good. creí como mi cuñado ha salido ahorita de emergencia que dijo que le dolía el estómago. Oh, sorry, sorry. No problem, Karen, no problem. Ok, but eh, I repeat, Karen, this is a question of memory only, right? If you want to make a screenshot, no problem, you can make it. Or this presentation, I send it in the presentation 14. Let me see. Esta presentación la envié. Cinco, el 19, right? 19, no, no, 19. No, 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 sorry. Ah, en this case, el, en this case, cuando queremos decir, 12, I, send, yeah. I send you the presentation on WhatsApp or, or in, in, WhatsApp. in WhatsApp. In WhatsApp. In WhatsApp. Mm. In PowerPoint, in PDF, in Excel. When, when we use on on refers to days of the week and dates this means fechas en días de la semana y fechas y periodo de tiempo por ejemplo weekend fin de semana días de semana right? son periodos de tiempo mm -hmm. Y también ya vimos que las celebraciones, ¿verdad? Pero más que sí, todo es, más que todo días de la semana y fechas. ¿Ves? Yes. Ya. Yeah. In años, meses y partes del día. ¿no? Estaciones. Partes del día. Estaciones, 
periodo de tiempo como una hora, un minuto, un segundo, y es in, in. Y lu, situaciones específicas, ad, como la, las nueve de la noche, nueve treinta, el amanecer, la medianoche, el mediodía, etcétera, etcétera, right? Repito, Karen, esto es a question of memory. Simple like that. Simple like that, right? Good. Karen, thank you very much. I really appreciate your help in the class. You all are always participative. So I like that. I like that. Believe me. And you're really good. Your level thank is... Thank you for your wisdom. Oh, no, come on. You are very intelligent, okay? So uh, you are not for level one. You're for level four, but yes. <laughs> You but can, I, but I need refresh the the grammar. I understand the, the speaking or speak. That's okay. Uh, interaction with, with people. Nice. So in this class you can interact. Do you think uh, the conversation, for example, is a good exercise in this class? Yes. Yeah. Right. So, and it's, it's think, necessary. Mm -hmm. Absolutely necessary. Yeah. Okay, Karen. Thank you very much for your time. I hope to see you tomorrow, please. And have a good night. Bye bye. Ah, uh, 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 yes, yes. Ya realicé el quiz ahora antes de entrar a la clase. Excelente. Para, porque dije yo, cuando me mencionó, dije yo, pero como dijo, no lo había revisado todavía. Entonces dije, lo voy a recordar. <laughs> no, that's okay, Karen. I believe you're good. And you're responsible too, yes. <laughs> okay, have a okay. good night. Thank See you, you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow.